General Topology, Wikipedia Audio In mathematics, general topology is the branch of topology that deals with the basic set theoretic definitions and constructions used in topology. It is the foundation of most other branches of topology, including differential topology, geometric topology, and algebraic topology. Another name for general topology is point-set topology. The fundamental concepts in point-set topology are continuity, compactness, and connectedness. The words nearby, arbitrarily small, and far apart can all be made precise by using the concept of open sets. If we change the definition of open set, we change what continuous functions, compact sets, and connected sets are. Each choice of definition for open set is called a topology. A set with a topology is called a topological space. History Metric spaces are an important class of topological spaces where a real, non-negative distance, also called a metric, can be defined on pairs of points in the set. Having a metric simplifies many proofs, and many of the most common topological spaces are metric spaces. General topology grew out of a number of areas, most importantly the following. Continuous functions, intuitively, take nearby points to nearby points, Compact sets are those that can be covered by finitely many sets of arbitrarily small size, connected sets are sets that cannot be divided into two pieces that are far apart. General topology assumed its present form around 1940. It captures, one might say, almost everything in the intuition of continuity in a technically adequate form that can be applied in any area of mathematics. Let X be a set and let I be a family of subsets of X. Then I is called a topology on X if. If I is a topology on X, then the pair is called a topological space. The notation X I may be used to denote a set X endowed with the particular topology I. The members of I are called open sets in X. A subset of X is said to be closed if its complement is in I. A subset of X may be open, closed, both, or neither. The empty set in X itself are always both closed and open. A base B for a topological space X with topology T is a collection of open sets in T such that every open set in T can be written as a union of elements of B. We say that the base generates the topology T bases are useful because many properties of topologies can be reduced to statements about a base that generates that topology A euro and because many topologies are most easily defined in terms of a base that generates them. The detailed study of subsets of the real line, the introduction of the manifold concept, the study of metric spaces, especially normed linear spaces, in the early days of functional analysis. Every subset of a topological space can be given the subspace topology in which the open sets are the intersections of the open sets of the larger space with the subset. For any indexed family of topological spaces, the product can be given the product topology, which is generated by the inverse images of open sets of the factors under the projection mappings. For example, in finite products, a basis for the product topology consists of all products of open sets. For infinite products, there is the additional requirement that in a basic open set, all but finitely many of its projections are the entire space. A quotient space is defined as follows, if X is a topological space and Y is a set, and if F, X A Y is a surjective function, then the quotient topology on Y is the collection of subsets of Y that have open inverse images under F. In other words, 
the quotient topology is the finest topology on Y for which F is continuous. A common example of a quotient topology is when an equivalence relation is defined on the topological space X. The map F is then the natural projection onto the set of equivalence classes. X is compact, then F is compact, X is connected, then F is connected, X is path connected, then F is path connected, X is Lindela F, then F is Lindela F, X is separable, then F is separable. A topology on a set a given set may have many different topologies. If a set is given a different topology, it is viewed as a different topological space. Any set can be given the discrete topology in which every subset is open. The only convergent sequences or nets in this topology are those that are eventually constant. Also, any set can be given the trivial topology in which only the empty set and the whole space are open. Every sequence and net in this topology converges to every point of the space. This example shows that in general topological spaces, limits of sequences need not be unique. However, often topological spaces must be Hausdorff spaces where limit points are unique. There are many ways to define a topology on R the set of real numbers. The standard topology on R is generated by the open intervals. The set of all open intervals forms a base or basis for the topology, meaning that every open set is a union of some collection of sets from the base. In particular, this means that a set is open if there exists an open interval of non-zero radius about every point in the set. More generally, the Euclidean spaces Rn can be given a topology. In the usual topology on Rn the basic open sets are the open balls. Similarly, C, the set of complex numbers, and Cn have a standard topology in which the basic open sets are open balls. Every metric space can be given a metric topology, in which the basic open sets are open balls defined by the metric. This is the standard topology on any normed vector space. On a finite dimensional vector space this topology is the same for all norms. Many sets of linear operators in functional analysis are endowed with topologies that are defined by specifying when a particular sequence of functions converges to the zero function. Any local field has a topology native to it and this can be extended to vector spaces over that field. Every manifold has a natural topology since it is locally Euclidean. Similarly, every simplex and every simplicial complex inherits a natural topology from Rn. The Zariski topology is defined algebraically on the spectrum of a ring or an algebraic variety. On Rn or Cn, the closed sets of the Zariski topology are the solution sets of systems of polynomial equations. Basis for a topology Subspace and quotient A linear graph has a natural topology that generalizes many of the geometric aspects of graphs with vertices and edges. X is T0, or Kolmogorov, if any two distinct points in X are topologically distinguishable, X is T1, or accessible or FRA copyright chet, if any two distinct points in X are separated. Thus, X is T1 if and only if it is both T0 and R0, X is Hausdorff, or T2 or separated, if any two distinct points in X are separated by neighborhoods. Thus, X is Hausdorff if and only if it is both T0 and R1. A Hausdorff space must also be T1, X is T2 A1 half, or Urison, if any two distinct points in X are separated by closed neighborhoods. A T2 A1 half space must also be Hausdorff, 
x is regular, or t3, if it is t0 and if given any point x and closed set f and x such that x does not belong to f, they are separated by neighborhoods, x is Tikhonov, or t3 a1 half, completely t3, or completely regular, if it is t0 and if f, given any point x and closed set f and x such that x does not belong to f, they are separated by a continuous function, x is normal, or t4, if it is Hausdorff and if any two disjoint closed subsets of x are separated by neighborhoods, x is completely normal, or t5 or completely t4, if it is t1 and if any two separated sets are separated by neighborhoods. A completely normal space must also be normal, x is perfectly normal, or t6 or perfectly t4, if it is t1 and if any two disjoint closed sets are precisely separated by a continuous function. A perfectly normal Hausdorff space must also be completely normal Hausdorff. Examples of topological spaces Continuous functions Alternative definitions Neighborhood definition Sequences and nets The Sierpiaski space is the simplest nondiscrete topological space. It has important relations to the theory of computation and semantics. Sequential space a set is open if every sequence convergent to a point in the set is eventually in the set. First countable space, every point has a countable neighborhood basis. Second countable space, the topology has a countable base. Separable space, there exists a countable dense subspace. Lindela F space, every open cover has a countable subcover. Compact space, there exists a countable cover by compact spaces. There exist numerous topologies on any given finite set. Such spaces are called finite topological spaces. Finite spaces are sometimes used to provide examples or counterexamples to conjectures about topological spaces in general. Every first countable space is sequential. Every second countable space is first countable, separable, and Lindela F. Every compact space is Lindela F. A metric space is first countable. For metric spaces second countability, separability, and the Lindela F property are all equivalent. Any set can be given the cofinite topology in which the open sets are the empty set and the sets whose complement is finite. This is the smallest T1 topology on any infinite set. Borbaki, Topology GA Copyright NA Copyright RAL, ISBN 0-387-19374X, John L. Kelly General Topology, link from Internet Archive, originally published by David Van Nostrand Company, Stephen Willard, General Topology. ISBN 0-486-43479-6, James Munkers, Topology, ISBN 0-13-181629-2, George F. Simmons, Introduction to Topology and Modern Analysis, ISBN 1-575-24238-9, Paul L. Schick, Topology, Point set and geometric, ISBN 0 470 09605 5, Rizard Engelking, General Topology, ISBN 3 88538 006 4, Stain, Lynn Arthur. Seabach, J. Arthur Jr., Counterexamples in Topology, Berlin, New York. Springer Verlag, ISBN 978-0-486-68735-3, MR0507446, O.Y. Vero, O.A. 
Ivanov, VM. Karlamov and N.Y.U. Netsvetiv, Elementary Topology, Textbook in Problems, ISBN 978-0-8218-4506-6. Closure Operator Definition Any set can be given the cocoauntable topology, in which a set is defined as open if it is either empty or its complement is countable. When the set is uncountable, this topology serves as a counterexample in many situations. The real line can also be given the lower limit topology. Here, the basic open sets are the half-open intervals. This topology on R is strictly finer than the Euclidean topology defined above. A sequence converges to a point in this topology if and only if it converges from above in the Euclidean topology. This example shows that a set may have many distinct topologies defined on it. If I is an ordinal number, then the set I equals may be endowed with the order topology generated by the intervals, and where A and B are elements of I. Continuity is expressed in terms of neighborhoods, F is continuous at some point X A X if and only if for any neighborhood V of F, there is a neighborhood U of X such that F A with circumflex V intuitively. Continuity means no matter how small V becomes, there is always a U containing X that maps inside V and whose image under F contains F. This is equivalent to the condition that the pre-images of the open sets in Y are open in X. In metric spaces, this definition is equivalent to the IA Euro I definition that is often used in analysis. An extreme example if a set X is given the discrete topology, all functions to any topological space T are continuous. On the other hand, if X is equipped with the indiscrete topology and the space T set is at least T0, then the only continuous functions are the constant functions. Conversely, any function whose range is indiscrete is continuous. Several equivalent definitions for a topological structure exist and thus there are several equivalent ways to define a continuous function. Properties Definitions based on pre-images are often difficult to use directly. The following criterion expresses continuity in terms of neighborhoods. F is continuous at some point X A X if and only if for any neighborhood V of F. There is a neighborhood U of X such that F A with circumflex V intuitively, continuity means no matter how small V becomes, there is always a U containing X that maps inside V. If X and Y are metric spaces, it is equivalent to consider the neighborhood system of open balls centered at X and F instead of all neighborhoods. This gives back the above I I definition of continuity in the context of metric spaces. However, in general topological spaces, there is no notion of nearness or distance. Homeomorphisms Note, however, that if the target space is Hausdorff, it is still true that F is continuous at A if and only if the limit of F as X approaches A is F. At an isolated point, every function is continuous. In several contexts, the topology of a space is conveniently specified in terms of limit points. In many instances, this is accomplished by specifying when a point is the limit of a sequence, but for some spaces that are too large in some sense, one specifies also when a point is the limit of more general sets of points indexed by a directed set, known as nets. A function is continuous only if it takes limits of sequences to limits of sequences. In the former case, preservation of limits is also sufficient, in the latter, a function may preserve all limits of sequences yet still fail to be continuous and preservation of nets is a necessary and sufficient condition.
defining topologies via continuous functions. Compact sets Connected sets In detail, a function f, x a y is sequentially continuous if whenever a sequence in x converges to a limit x, the sequence converges to f. Thus sequentially continuous functions preserve sequential limits. Every continuous function is sequentially continuous. If X is a first countable space and countable choice holds, then the converse also holds, any function preserving sequential limits is continuous. In particular, if X is a metric space, sequential continuity and continuity are equivalent. For non-first countable spaces, sequential continuity might be strictly weaker than continuity. This motivates the consideration of nets instead of sequences in general topological spaces. Continuous functions preserve limits of nets, and in fact this property characterizes continuous functions. Instead of specifying the open subsets of a topological space, the topology can also be determined by a closure operator, which assigns to any subset A A with circumflex X its closure, or an interior operator, which assigns to any subset A of X its interior. In these terms, a function between topological spaces is continuous in the sense above if and only if for all subsets A of X. That is to say, Given any element X of X that is in the closure of any subset A, F belongs to the closure of F. This is equivalent to the requirement that for all subsets A of X. Moreover, is continuous if and only if. For any subset A of X. If F, X A Y and G, Y A Z are continuous then so is the composition G A F, X A Z. If F, X A Y is continuous and the possible topologies on a fixed set X are partially ordered, a topology I1 is said to be coarser than another topology I2 if every open subset with respect to I1 is also open with respect to I2. Then, the identity map is continuous if and only if I 1 A with circumflex I 2. More generally, a continuous function stays continuous if the topology I Y is replaced by a coarser topology and slash or I X is replaced by a finer topology. Symmetric to the concept of a continuous map is an open map, for which images of open sets are open. In fact, if an open map F has an inverse function, that inverse is continuous, and if a continuous map G has an inverse, that inverse is open. Given a bijective function F between two topological spaces, the inverse function F A1 need not be continuous. A bijective continuous function with continuous inverse function is called a homeomorphism. If a continuous bijection has as its domain a compact space and its codomain is Hausdorff, then it is a homeomorphism. Given a function where X is a topological space and S is a set, the final topology on S is defined by letting the open sets of S be those subsets A of S for which F A1 is open in X. If S has an existing topology, F is continuous with respect to this topology if and only if the existing topology is coarser than the final topology on S. Thus the final topology can be characterized as the finest topology on S that makes F continuous. If F is surjective, this topology is canonically identified with the quotient topology under the equivalence relation defined by F. Dually, for a function f from a set S to a topological space, the initial topology on S has as open subsets A of S those subsets for which F is open in X. If S has an existing topology, 
f is continuous with respect to this topology if and only if the existing topology is finer than the initial topology on s. Thus the initial topology can be characterized as the coarsest topology on s that makes f continuous. If f is injective, this topology is canonically identified with the subspace topology of s, viewed as a subset of x. A topology on a set S is uniquely determined by the class of all continuous functions S, A, X, into all topological spaces X dually. A similar idea can be applied to maps, X, A S dot. Formally, a topological space X is called compact if each of its open covers has a finite subcover. Otherwise, it is called non compact. Explicitly, this means that for every arbitrary collection of open subsets of X such that there is a finite subset J of a such that some branches of mathematics such as algebraic geometry, typically influenced by the French school of Bourbaki, use the term quasi-compact for the general notion and reserve the term compact for topological spaces that are both Hausdorff and quasi-compact. A compact set is sometimes referred to as a compactum, plural compacta. Every closed interval in R of finite length is compact. More is true, in Rn, a set is compact if and only if it is closed and bounded. Every continuous image of a compact space is compact. A compact subset of a Hausdorff space is closed. Every continuous bijection from a compact space to a Hausdorff space is necessarily a homeomorphism. Every sequence of points in a compact metric space has a convergent subsequence. Every compact finite dimensional manifold can be embedded in some Euclidean space Rn. A topological space X is said to be disconnected if it is the union of two disjoint non empty open sets. Otherwise, X is said to be connected. A subset of a topological space is said to be connected if it is connected under its subspace topology. Some authors exclude the empty set as a connected space, but this article does not follow that practice. For a topological space X the following conditions are equivalent. Every interval in R is connected. The continuous image of a connected space is connected. The maximal connected subsets of a non-empty topological space are called the connected components of the space. The components of any topological space X form a partition of X, they are disjoint, non-empty, and their union is the whole space. Every component is a closed subset of the original space. It follows that, in the case where their number is finite, each component is also an open subset. However, if their number is infinite, this might not be the case. For instance, the connected components of the set of the rational numbers are the one-point sets, which are not open. Let, I, X, be the connected component of X in a topological space X, and, I, X, a Euro superscript 2, be the intersection of all open closed sets containing X then, I, X, A with circumflex, I, X, A Euro superscript 2, backslash subset backslash gamma, where the equality holds if X is compact Hausdorff or locally connected. A space in which all components are one point sets is called totally disconnected. Related to this property, a space X is called totally separated if, for any two distinct elements X and Y of X, there exist disjoint open neighborhoods U of X and V of Y such that X is the union of U and V. Clearly any totally separated space is totally disconnected, but the converse does not hold. For example, 
take two copies of the rational numbers Q, and identify them at every point except zero. The resulting space, with the quotient topology, is totally disconnected. However, by considering the two copies of zero, one sees that the space is not totally separated. In fact, it is not even Hausdorff, and the condition of being totally separated is strictly stronger than the condition of being Hausdorff. A path from a point X to a point Y in a topological space X is a continuous function F from the unit interval to X with F equals X and F equals Y. A path component of X is an equivalence class of X under the equivalence relation, which makes X equivalent to Y if there is a path from X to Y. The space X is said to be path-connected if there is at most one path component, i.e. if there is a path joining any two points in X. Again, many authors exclude the empty space. Every path-connected space is connected. The converse is not always true, examples of connected spaces that are not path-connected include the extended long line L** and the topologist's sine curve. However, subsets of the real line R are connected if and only if they are path-connected, these subsets are the intervals of R. Also, open subsets of Rn or Cn are connected if and only if they are path-connected. Additionally, connectedness and path connectedness are the same for finite topological spaces. Given X such that Connected components Is the Cartesian product of the topological spaces XI, indexed by, I, A, I, and the canonical projections PI, XA, XI. The product topology on X is defined as the coarsest topology for which all the projections PI are continuous. The product topology is sometimes called the Tikhonov topology. The open sets in the product topology are unions of sets of the form A, I, A, I, U, I, U where each UI is open in XI and UIA per thousand XI only finitely many times. In particular, for a finite product, the products of base elements of the XI gives a basis for the product, A, I, A, I, X, I, X. The product topology on X is the topology generated by sets of the form PIA1 where I is in I and U is an open subset of XI. In other words, the sets form a subbase for the topology on X. A subset of X is open if and only if it is a union of intersections of finitely many sets of the form PIA1. The PIA1 are sometimes called open cylinders, and their intersections are cylinder sets. In general, the product of the topologies of each XI forms a basis for what is called the box topology on X. In general, the box topology is finer than the product topology, but for finite products they coincide. Related to compactness is Tikhonov's theorem, the product of compact spaces is compact. Disconnected spaces Many of these names have alternative meanings in some of mathematical literature, as explained on history of the separation axioms, for example, the meanings of normal and T4 are sometimes interchanged, similarly regular and T3, etc. Many of the concepts also have several names, however, the one listed first is always least likely to be ambiguous. Most of these axioms have alternative definitions with the same meaning, the definitions given here fall into a consistent pattern that relates the various notions of separation defined in the previous section. Other possible definitions can be found in the individual articles. Path Connected Sets In all of the following definitions, X is again a topological space. 
The Tsetse extension theorem, in a normal space, every continuous real-valued function defined on a closed subspace can be extended to a continuous map defined on the whole space. Products of spaces Separation axioms An axiom of countability is a property of certain mathematical objects that requires the existence of a countable set with certain properties, while without it such sets might not exist. Important countability axioms for topological spaces Relations Countability axioms Metric spaces Bayer category theory Main areas of research Continuum theory Pointless topology Dimension theory Topological algebras Meterizability theory Set theoretic topology A metric space is an ordered pair, M, D, where, M, is a set and, D, is a metric on, M, i.e., a function. Such that for any, X, Y, Z, A, M, the following holds. The function, D, is also called distance function or simply distance. Often, D, is omitted and one just writes, M, for a metric space if it is clear from the context what metric is used. Every metric space is paracompact and Hausdorff, and thus normal. The METRization theorems provide necessary and sufficient conditions for a topology to come from a metric. The Bayer category theorem says, if X is a complete metric space or a locally compact Hausdorff space, then the interior of every union of countably many nowhere dense sets is empty. Any open subspace of a bare space is itself a bare space. A continuum is a non-empty compact connected metric space, or less frequently, a compact connected Hausdorff space. Continuum theory is the branch of topology devoted to the study of continua. Pointless topology is an approach to topology that avoids mentioning points. The name pointless topology is due to John von Neumann. The ideas of pointless topology are closely related to myriad topologies, in which regions are treated as foundational without explicit reference to underlying point sets. Dimension theory is a branch of general topology dealing with dimensional invariance of topological spaces. A topological algebra A over a topological field K is a topological vector space together with a continuous multiplication. That makes it an algebra over K. A unital associative topological algebra is a topological ring. The term was coined by David van Dantzig, it appears in the title of his doctoral dissertation. In topology and related areas of mathematics, a meterizable space is a topological space that is homeomorphic to a metric space. That is, a topological space, X, I, is said to be meterizable if there is a metric such that the topology induced by D is, I. METRization theorems are theorems that give sufficient conditions for a topological space to be meterizable. Set theoretic topology is a subject that combines set theory and general topology. It focuses on topological questions that are independent of zermelo euro frankel set theory. A famous problem is the normal Moore space question, a question in general topology that was the subject of intense research. The answer to the normal Moore space question was eventually proved to be independent of ZFC. Some standard books on general topology include The AR14 subject code is math.gn.